These two teams played three times last year. Pitt won all three, including the finale in the ACC tournament. He has been one of the top freshmen in the ACC this season. Hinson, seven for seven for three against Duke. Had 24 points in the win, and Federico Federico played well against Georgia Tech in the three games last year. And there is Nate George. There is Carrington. NBA scouts love his upside. And now Hinson. Pitt's leading score through traffic. Blocked. And it goes to Georgia Tech. George leading the break. Hinson took good shots, and he didn't miss on Saturday. He's backing down. Sacco using that girth. And you played in the old Big East. Pitt always had a guy in the build of a Blake Henson. Struggling a little bit, but he can do just that. He's a size post up. He's strong. Just a, a tough matchup for anybody trying to defend him. On the run out, it's Zach Austin, the two handed hammer. And right. Also, was one of the best shot blockers in the country. George, that doesn't go. Offensive rebound, Reeves. Georgia Tech's a pretty good offensive rebounding team. Check for and able to get the easy finish. The lob to Austin playing above the rim yet again. And Zach Austin playing way above the rim. Kyle Sturdivant into the game. And that is Tafara Gapori, the UMass transfer for three. You say that, just give him the ultimate green light, the ultimate confidence, as long as it's a good shot. Go ahead and shoot it. Henson backing down George and a lob to Federico. Federico. Shot clock at five. Capari gets free, lets it fly. Offensive rebound, Claude. Sturt of it open and hits. 25 and blue. Carrington contested, hits. That's why the NBA people love his upside. The left hand, but. Guillermo Diaz Graham, seven feet. Gonna be tough to score in there over him. Diaz Graham gets the friendly roll. May have shuffled his feet. You gotta recognize right there, Georgia Tech had three guys sitting in the lane. Gotta use a dribble to bait the defense, draw them in, then kick it out, get a better shot on the opposite side. Tongo with his first basket. Low, almost lost it. Batted around. Carrington kicks to the corner. Henson, a long three to beat the shot clock. It's good. He's made his last eight three-point shots. And Blake Henson, shot clock running low, way behind that line. Knocking down a big one for the Panthers. And that ties Cam Johnson's school record for most consecutive threes made. That was a good 10 feet behind the three-point line, as we see a great finish there by Nate George on the other end. But that looked effortless. I mean, that was Steph Curry type range right there. That was a very impressive three from Blake Henson. Low, the smooth lefty shot, back-to-back -back threes by Pitt. Taking on Angel Reese, Kim Mulkey, Sequin Blazers, and LSU. Dongo with the block at the rim. Still time on the shot clock. Sturdivant zippers inside, high off the window, and gets the home roll. Sturdivant, Kangaroos inside, blocked by Carrington, gets it back, hits the rim, and corralled by Leggett on the baseline. And Debo Coleman's probably the one guy, if you need somebody to stand in the tracks with Hinson coming, he's probably the one guy that can do it. Carrington from 18 knocks it down. He had been in a shooting slump coming you into this game. On your defense. The better defensive team is going to win. You can't let your offense dictate your defense. Carrington's got 11. Dongo puts it on the floor and lays it in for two. He said, you know what? Sometimes you just got to do it yourself and a good strong finish in the lane over Federico, who's a very good defender. Henson, the tough basket. It's going to be scary where Dongo is a year from now. Out of three second differential between game clock and shot clock. Sturdivant pulls up. He's got 10 in the opening half. Dongo bodies up Federico. Gets deep and gets two. Yeah, good finish there. Pretty good defense. The locker room couldn't ask for a better start for Damon Stoudemire's group, but getting the ball inside. Let's play inside. Austin. Baseline gets clobbered. Here comes Reeves. 
George has a trailer in Kelly. Reeves catch and shoot the corner three where he is lethal. In the late 90s, early 2000s. Here comes Carrington. Man, there is a lyricism to his game. You gotta know when to pass, but you also gotta know when to be aggressive and make your move. You're right here, isolation. Use a dribble to bait the defender. That time, great move. Going away from the defense. Knew the double was gonna come from the middle. Well, down here on the defensive end, because of his athleticism, he's able to switch a lot of ball screens, and that has given Pitt here a little bit of trouble. You see a tough shot there. First basket by Leggett, who led Rhode Island in scoring last year. Reeves, the floater, soft touch. George down the lane, throws it toward the rim, and Dongo with a dozen doing most of his damage with eight in the second half. Carrington with good position. Over Kapari, 15 for Bub Carrington. Bub Carrington seems to be proving that wrong a little bit here tonight. I know Georgia Tech's winning this basketball game. Oh! Oasis oh! Reeves with the highlight reel. Where did that come from? Gotta be the hair. The answer at the other end. Shot clock at eight, low. Driving on Claude, the basket, plus the foul. He showed it against Duke on Saturday. Put into the starting. Diaz Graham, the three from the outside. He's come off the bench to score eight. Only had two made threes in conference play coming into this game, but knocked it down both of those. Looked really confident doing it. Dongo, how about the way he could catch and finish in midair? Over to low, freshman to freshman, air ball. Austin saves it. Didn't hit the rim, I don't know if they saw it. Leggett puts it up, and the Rhode Island transfer. Lowe's got six to go along with three assists. Entry pass, Diaz Graham. He's got 10. Summer 2022, he played for Spain's U-20 team. Could have played for the U-21 team this past summer, decided to stay at Pitt. And yeah, with this media timeout coming up here pretty quickly, Jeff Capel probably just trying to get through that mark before he puts Blake Henson back in the game. Coleman from the corner. Got it. No team has led by more than six tonight. Leggett turbines inside, and Pitt has the largest lead by either team. And here in the second half, we've seen him put the ball on the floor and be aggressive and able to finish. And that's that's what we talked about. Getting him back healthy is only going to help this Pitt team as the year goes on. Started at the lob to Dongo. Lowe, who has been brimming with confidence of late, and shows you why. For here in the second half, been the reason why they've been able to retake this lead. Largest lead for Pitt. Sturdivant from the elbow, he's got a dozen. The only issue you run into is this slows the game down even more. And when you're down, Carrington from 18, he's got 17 on the night. Stand with that 2 3 zone. How does Pitt want to attack? But they love to get the side ball screens here, get the overload. And that time, leg it wide open in the corner. And a great extra pass by Carrington. Send the man through to the corner. Two on one, a great extra pass. And a huge three by Ishmael Leggett. That was Jalen Lowe. And it's another big three late in the game by Lowe. Reeves from long distance from Marietta. The corner, Jalen Lowe has not shot the ball well from behind the arc, but a huge answer. Shot clock down to 10. Leggett over George. That time, Ishmael Leggett hits the three to a nine-point lead. Yeah, and Ishmael Leggett only three made threes, and George with the answer. Well, George, the freshman coming up here in crunch time a few moments ago low. Now it's George. Guess we're going to try to get a high ball screen here to get the switch that they want in the mismatch. Georgia Tech trying to trap. Leggett wiggles out of the corner. Tough shot, knocked away. Well, Pitt follows up Saturday's win at Cameron Indoor with another road win here at Georgia Tech.